my beautiful people. I'm going to quickly go over some things. This is still tying into the Wendy Williams reading. Uh, if you want to continue for me to continue to do this series, also several people like your Nipsey Hustle is here, Armius, Joseph Ashkadam. And um, I'm gonna this is also what she's talking about today is what Nipsey has been talking to me about for the past four years now. Since two thousand thank you, baby. I was you you read my mind. I was just gonna say hit my cash up, make it clap. Somebody please put my cash up. Link in here, I have a Nipsey Blue Candle that's lit on my Cash App pick. If you're seeing the old Cash App, some people thought it wasn't taking money. It wasn't working with my picture. Some wanted those no longer work. Where is valid right now is the Cash App with the Nipsey Blue Candle that was lit. That's lit on there. Okay, so Nipsey's here. Um, Wendy Williams, we're still in the 10th. I'm in the 10th dimension with her. So I'm going to quickly go over some things. Um, but I'm going to come into it from a higher level because I like to watch everything that's going on as well. Also, somebody put a comment, but they erased the comment because I clicked on the comment and I couldn't see more. Somebody said a little Ethiopian girl is missing. She's about nine years old. She's been kidnapped. I didn't see that in the United States. So somebody needs to give me more information on it if you want me to look at it. If, if is it here? Because the only place I found it at when I Googled, well, there's a nine year old girl missing in Israel from a Ethiopian camp that is inside of Israel. Uh, so is that what you're talking about? The name kind of looked like an Ethiopian name or Eritrean name. I'm not sure. Would you please come back and be clear with me? Because I don't know. Uh, who you're talking about because I don't see any U.S. news about a nine-year-old Ethiopian girl missing in the United States. Um, you know, I, it doesn't mean that it's not here, but many times they don't highlight those things. Or are you talking about the one story that I saw uh, in Israel yesterday when she was missing like three days ago? Is that what you're talking about? Okay, what I'm going to get into, I'm going to tell you, like I've told you before, and Nipsey has told me to tell you before. Start stocking up on your food. Get things, not sugary things. I understand people like noodles. If you can get a healthier strand of noodles, not the ramen type with uh, all of the uh, fillers and chemicals in them that don't digest in the body. You want to get a lot of things like potatoes, even putting them, uh, learning how to uh, process the potatoes safely. If you want to cook them beforehand and season them, put them in the mason jars. You want potatoes, beans, onions, rice, lots of rice. If you can stock up on a clean source of meat right now, canned meat, meat for your deep freezer after you, you know, break it down, take it out of the pack and, um, Put it in the airtight, you know, where you, what do you call it? You know, I'm talking about the processor where you pull all the air out of it so it will be fresher and last longer. If you can have a garden, that's fine. If you can get into communities where you all share food together, you grow food together uh, in a greenhouse where it's safe and it's not exposed to the atmosphere and the rain and the chemicals that they're spraying out of the airplanes coming down from the sky. You want to do that dried milk, powdered milks, uh, just in case you don't always have access to a cow or a goat or any type of milk that you would like. All of your first aid supplies, all of your non-cell phone radios. You you want your transistor radios. You you want you know to deal with truckers, uh, people that have off the grid preppers. Dealing with off the grid telephones, off the grid radios, your own sources of uh, whether you're having an electric car and powering it, gasoline and diesel, as uh, well as not depending on the electrical grid inside the city, not depending on the cell phone and the internet. I've told y'all before, and Nipsey told me to warn you before, there's getting ready to be more shutdowns and more hacking. From other countries 
and people that they are allowing to come in here as migrants or I was told Joe Biden has a new name for them, the newcomers, some bullshit like that. We're actually, he's actually bringing them in to shut down the system. This looks like a democratic system, but these people in office are not democratic at all. And they definitely want to try to keep Trump out. And it seems like, because uh, I'm not on the Democratic side anymore. And, and that's the side that keeps you impoverished and ignorant. Um, look at the Republican side. I think both the sides have their pros and their cons. But I'm just not choosing any of them. I'm just open and I'm learning from both sides. And what I like about Republicans, they're all about basically a capitalistic get your money type of system. Even though, yeah, we, we deal with the racist elements of that in all parts of life. Even black people are racist against other black people, elitist, colorist, moneyist, where you live at, how much real estate you got, what your bloodline is, what your family come from. We we deal with that everywhere. However, you got to put that shit aside right now. Basically, fuck with who fucks with you. Because you don't want to be out here in this system alone. Just like you're seeing now with this prescriptions and they're, they're hacking the systems. People, if they forgot what prescription they were taking, they won't be able to get access to it because the computers have been hacked and shut down on purpose. Phone systems, uh, credit systems, uh, every area of our life now where you depend on technology, where you don't even know your own phone number because you depend on a telephone to have it. You don't even know uh, how to get directions because you don't read a map. Y'all better start getting all this old school shit. Get you a hand map, pencil, paper, start learning phone numbers, write them down, go back to your old shit because you are going to be fucked and betrayed depending on this technology. Oh, I just, the number in my phone, oh, the address on Google, oh, you know, I, I, I can get it that way, you know, I I, I know, you know, who I'm, I'm going to talk to and what I'm going to do, what game I'm going to watch and uh, what show I'm going to watch, that shit, those grids are getting ready to shut down. And I have told y'all that before. Or they're going to be rolling blackouts. More road. We know they're in California. I know some people in Texas in certain areas, they had them rolling blackouts. In the wintertime, they'd be freezing. And it has nothing to do with them not paying a light bill. When it's a blackout like that, they have to have a generator or alternative way to stay warm or go to a hotel or somewhere else because there's nothing you can do about it when it's a blackout in a particular area in Texas. I know this for a fact because I know people that live there and I've been talking to them, been on the phone with them when it's a blackout and them and them, they babies are cold unless they get the fuck out of their house and go to another side of Texas where the blackout is, the rolling blackout is not occurring because of those electrical companies that's basically fucking people when they're in those areas and taking their money and won't let them have the option to have solar panels, won't have the option to have budget billing like they do in Georgia. So they're fucked, you know, and, and, and it's, they can charge whatever they want and still subject you to the rolling blackouts. That's coming to a city near you. As well as the cell phones. It's like some of these people, they already doing it. You just don't know they doing it. They out here eating these rats. God damn it, cooking these rats and growing them in the backyard. You know, and uh, slicing them up with some damn carrots and taters and celeries and tomatoes and collard green and shit. I mean, man, look. This, this is what I'm seeing here. And these animals coming in here and telling me this shit. These monkeys is telling me this shit. That they, it's going to be a new strain. Busting off several different strains to isolate people and eliminate people of different diseases. The monkeys is in the cages. The monkeys is at the CDC. God damn it. The monkeys is in the lab. And these are some big ones that are coming in here. Like big as a goddamn, I guess some chimps. Them chimpanzees that could kill a goddamn human. That, that you, you really can't, a human can't do nothing with one of them. Maybe, you know, if you're a bodybuilder, you're extremely big, extremely strong, but they doing it on them and create hybrid strains for humans on them. The monkey from talking to them and different types of monkey is the most perfect specimen to use one of the most perfect ones. And we know they keep monkeys in the rack to use to incubate DNA, the human DNA, or create different strains, and then inject it into a human. The monkey is because the DNA is so close. The genetics is so close. I mean, these, these animals, or what they call them, primates, are so similar to human beings. Extremely in intelligent. I have a lot of 
conversations with them. And now they're also bringing up a spider. It's this new spider, they're saying. They're showing me a black widow. They're showing me a brown recluse. And I know those are deadly and they're very vicious like that. And they're in Georgia and different places like Georgia. These are coming over from Mexico and from other countries and Asian countries. Um, they hitch rides on ships, they even in planes, because you don't know what people are transporting in these planes and these ships and these buses. You, they're, they're coming here. They're all, excuse me, they're already here, as well as certain snake species. These animals where they're actually taking, they're creating vaccines from them, but they are also creating mutated strains of different viruses, uh, bacteria. He says a whole strain of uh, human immunodeficiency viruses and diseases and upper respiratory problems. He's also mentioning Marduk again and Ebola. So, no, you're not going to have all the vaccines to all of them with defense. However, if you're not in a certain area, if you're not eating a certain type of food, and the dogs, and I've told you, Nipsey said this before, you need to watch your pets and watch the pets that you come in contact with. They show me coyotes. Uh, rabies, uh, rabbits, and dogs. Uh, and in Georgia, I'm sure other places you need to check the news or the CDC or what they're, what they're reporting about dogs and these wild animals in the woods and wolves and coyotes and uh, raccoons and rabbits and certain snakes because they're they're being infected by the animals that are being brought over here and different bacterial strains and fungus but that some of them rise up naturally and mutate but it's also as a result of what's been deliberately put put out here the hybrids and in these hospitals that you don't know about that start to engage humans especially if you come in contact with these types of animals and you have them as a pet or the animal goes outside and you let it go walking by itself and hanging outside using the bathroom, stepping down the feet, picking up feces of other animals that is microscopic that you cannot see in certain parasites that are hard to kill. Those animals are going to track them back in the house. So let's say they lick themselves. They meet another animal you don't know about. They lick them. Uh, they walk over their waist. You cannot see because they're walking on their little paws out in the soil. Uh, and they bring that back in and then you have these unexplained allergies of respiratory infections because now the stuff dries and flicks off, goes up into the air, becomes airborne and then gets in the air ducts and the vents. So those are the one of the things you, you don't right now want to take out any loans on any houses because they're not getting you to check refining or commercial buildings. If you have a commercial building, you can check it and come back and tell me if I'm wrong. You don't want to go out buying that with the interest rate right now. I mean, unless it's just something you want to do because they're not getting ready to lower it right now. They're deliberately creating inflation, hyperinflation to destroy the economy and to destroy the dollar. If you can learn about gold backs, gold, silver, crypto, different forms of it. I don't know how all of that works yet. A lot of people are taking it. You want to start holding reserves of those precious metals that used to back the dollar like gold because they're deliberately imploding the system. Problems coming up with gasoline and diesel and military. And Putin might be causing an issue with um, the U.S. and Western countries with gas because he's conserving his to attack Ukraine. And it's, it's uh, we already have a supply chain problem with the truckers and with food and with the supplies. And they're bringing over, Biden is letting these migrants come over here from different parts of the world to deliberately put a burden on society and a burden on the social resources. They bring in guns. They bring in dope. They bring in dick. They bring in pussy, God damn it. They, they, they bring in all this stuff in, and then he's giving them food stamps, giving them checks, giving them free college access that he wouldn't even do for a lot of us over here, giving them houses, put them in these shelters. I think Denver is one of the places and some other states that are so overloaded with them. They can't handle the demand no more. So if they put them out in the shelter, they put them on the street, it's going to create what? More death, disease, destruction, and mayhem because they're going to create commit crimes and do violent shit to get money and to eat. And the government and Biden is doing this shit on purpose to 
burden and implode the economy. So if you're not getting the, the imports in from the gasoline and if you don't have diesel, you don't have battery. We, that's not always dependent on those battery cars, those electric cars. I don't particularly care for them. I rode in the Tesla. I don't really like it. And all that glass around the side, that thing is just like fucking fiberglass. You hit that motherfucker with a real car, like an old-fashioned kind of motherfucker, shatters like a, a handful of goddamn glass. And then have to stop at a battery station and shit. It, I just ain't with it. So... You want to really have your car that's bought and paid for because them interest rates are through the roof. It ain't even got to be nothing brand new. I mean, because they tracking everything on it anyway. And you got to find alternatives or, or find right now they have places like that where you can get storage because it's stored safely in tanks of gasoline and diesel. Or they might have gas stations because... As time goes on, you might not be able to use these things. So you're going to have to have alternate forms of transportation. Some of these stores are going to close. And just think, there's you need to watch your money in these banks because these buildings that people own, these commercial buildings, those interest rates are so high on those loans. If they already have a loan and they cannot pay that loan because it's so high and then people are going working remotely at home. So a lot of these people not working on these jobs. So these commercial companies or people renting from them or using them, this, the, the amount of people is going to go down that is in there because they're working remotely. And if they can't afford to pay the debts that they have on the loans, more banks are going to collapse. It's a very vicious cycle. They're going to close with your goddamn money in there. And then the dollar continues to get less and less in value. So... In some, in some places now, these buildings are, are being sold for very cheap because the owners cannot afford to continue to pay the loans because of the Federal Reserve. And this is all a part of their plan. Y'all need to go. It's a free. You can listen to the whole book, Preacher from Jekyll Island and the Federal Reserve and how it's really not federal. And then how this is going to tie to the stock market and NASDAQ. All of that works together along with the prison plan they're creating in the New World Order, as well as the uh, countries that are lining up with BRICS. I mean, it, it's, it's a lot, a lot. And I'm sure a lot of you already know these things, but a lot of you don't. And you need to research these things because nobody is safe depending on this economy, depending on the government to take care of you, depending on this society. It's going to implode this already doing it right around you. So you want to get out of urban areas, you know, nigger areas, you know, inside inner cities and depending on inner city food stores where they give you all that junk and that sugar and cornflakes and shit and frosted flakes and cheerio, which y'all giving your babies and giving yourself because you think, well, that's cheaper and I'm going to give them that to shut them up or give them some sugar and, and sodas every day. You're killing them and you're not preparing yourself for the end times. So it's like drying, canning, preserving things, whatever can, tuna, sardines, fish, all these things you want to start preserving right now and get a place where you have an underground, like a nice airtight basement, semi-bunker. A lot of us can't have a multi-million dollar bunkers right now, but that's no excuse not to do nothing. A go away outside. Don't depend on being inside of the city and the grocery stores because a lot of them chains are going to close or they're going to eat up the small ones. And because we don't have community like we used to, you know, when I was growing up. So you're not going to be able to make it. And there are going to be places that are going to be like nomads land, wastelands, uh, like Mad Max, Thunderdome, Rise of the Machine, Rise of the Terminator, and uh, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And that's what Nipsey has been telling me to tell you. Since he was assassinated in 2019, we it's not coming. We are in it right now. A lot of you cannot see that we are already in it. And that goes into what Wendy was telling me last night and throughout the day is that um, she's already gone on so many levels. And she said the elite are already living this way. They are in the flying cars. 
they got the, the and, and, and they've shown some on these videos now where they got the flying car ready above the street, above the earth, like Bruce Willis was in that movie. I forgot the movie. I think Chris Tucker was in the movie as well. Uh, where the earth was so polluted and destroyed, they couldn't drive cars. They had destroyed the earth on purpose on the roads, on the ground. They were driving above it and it looked like a big garbage zone, a dump site, a toxic waste site. And they were going up in the fifth element, I think is what the name of it is. As well as Demolition Man with Sylvester Salon and Wesley Snipes. Y'all need to go back and listen to that shit and watch it. Watch Matrix 1, 2, 3. We are in this simulated reality as we speak. And, and, and um, I'm going to try to explain it like she was explaining it to me. And she kept mentioning MIT. She said a lot of this stuff is made at MIT by the students and the engineers there. You have this AI along with Elon Musk. Well, these things are everybody is assigned. She said you don't even know it through your bloodline, through your DNA. And a lot of us are already walking around with AI technology and chips and we don't even know because we got it through the food, through the drink, through the vaccine a long time ago. And people are getting introduced to it now. Even the babies, a lot of these babies is coming in chip. And you don't even know. And the design of babies. And you don't even know that. Because your children will be totally different than you. Like day or night. And they belong to the system. They belong to the state. And they will become soldiers and warriors. Which are basically executioners as killers. For the state. Because of the design of technology. That is inside of them. She showed me her in a car. Being chauffeured. And right in front of her. Is this avatar. You have your own avatar assigned to you. You have your own AI robot assigned to you. And it looks like an etheric being. I'm trying to explain the way she let me see this here. What reminds me of a movie that I can go back and see that reminds me of what she's showing it. It was one of the Chronicles of Riddick. Where he went to this other planet. And it was these beings. They had a human body. But then they could shape shift or they, she would get out of the body and the astral self or the etheric self, the uh, elemental being. We all are elemental beings, but they don't teach you who you are. You don't know how, who you are. You don't practice that you can do this, getting in and up out of the body, astral projecting while you're awake, not while you're sleeping. Because a lot of people travel, get up, don't even remember you travel, don't even remember you still out the fucking box. Call yourself back in. You got fragmented pieces of you and fucked up in the head and several personalities. And you think the person's crazy or they just got several personalities. They taking drugs, medication, and all that kind of shit. And what I don't realize is a part of you is extended and hanging out of the body. Because you don't know anything about the science of the self and the higher self. She has another being that has been assigned to her. She said, all the elites have this. They don't use cash. They are already in a cashless society where they have a card with a chip or something on it. Or they avatar do shit for them. And they saying Hollywood is, is dead, basically. It's gone because all these actors, people talking about, you know, and, and some actors have contacted me privately. I want to read and where my career going and shit. And they ain't going no goddamn well. But then they don't want to pay me for the reading. They want a whole bunch of information. Don't want to give me no money. So I don't, I do not do it. But I already know some of them, they have been turned to AI avatars. God damn it. I mean, they're not going to have them on TV. You will see the soul version of people will be signing up for permission. She said they already got like an actor's guild for this. They got entertainers lined up for this shit. They got talk show hosts lined up for this shit. They got porn stars fucking. The avatar is fucking and sucking dick, goddammit, with AI technology up in this motherfucker. Man. It's like the avatars getting gang banged and raped and shit over um in the in in, in the metaverse and shit. And I got Oh, why are y'all asking me to do this bullshit? Because it's, I'm, 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 I'm grasping this shit now. Cause I'm trying to get it out to you now. This, this, I'm trying. I, I got to try to keep my mind together just so I can understand what the fuck she's saying. I gotta study more about the deepness of this technology because she said 
It is a synthetic soul software. Even though it is AI technology, it is still an extension of you because the highest level of you is also AI. The source of the AI comes from you. And the higher level of your ancestral and extraterrestrial beings that have come down here and they bothered with our beings from Egypt, from Lumeria, from Atlantis, from Ethiopia, from North America, from our older Native Americans, from our Mexican ones, they and then the dirt beings, all of the so-called root races or mud races that white supremacists and KKK want to say we are, the non-white ones are the ones that have the original AI template and technology that the Vatican stole, along with the racial supremacists. They know who you are. They know who they are. But they're not going to tell you, and they're going to suppress you and continue to consume your flesh. On these motherboards, and you are the motherboard, they have cells embedded into it to mix the AI with the higher levels of the etheric and the brain, the gland, the hippocampus, hypothalamus, pituitary, the pineal, the gonads, the ovaries, the vagina, the adrenal cortex that sits on top of the kidneys, <laughs> the heart. The lungs going into the essence of the soul that programs all of the glands and the organs I just mentioned and the secretions of a particular chemical composition of the hormone. That is the source of the seat of the soul sitting in the brain and then extending to create the tree of life that manifests through the ether and to the physical anatomy. That is where they are getting it in the ETs that recreated you and made you a mini god or a demigod. But you are so cut off from that. You don't even fucking know. Wendy William, on that higher part of herself, she has all of this shit in there. And she's making these scribblings and these writings. But they don't fuck this lady mind up so bad. She don't know where it is or they'll separate her from it and give her the drug because she's like really an MK Ultra uh, sex slave. And it's another type of slave that they have made her with the technology and the pharmaceuticals and um, the black magic. Now, some of these people come over here and they put these comments and what I think they'll say, either y'all are getting it from other readers or y'all say y'all get it y'all self. I'm telling you right now, that shit don't influence me. You're more than welcome to listen to anybody else. I don't care who you listen to. I don't care what you think. But if my spirit does not bear witness with this shit, I'll let you keep it there unless you disrespect me. But uh, please don't come try to influence me to believe what somebody else told you or some other reader said and you believe them. I don't really give a fuck about this shit because I'm going to say what the fuck I feel led to say and what my spirits say to me any kind of way. I never watch other readers unless I really like them. And if you if I do, you're going to know it because I'll post them and I'll say this person, that person um, that I really like. One person I know, uh, Fleur Burn, I trust her. And what she's saying, we're like on the same level. And she's all like way out there on the ether shit and the ET shit. So her, she cool. A few others I might have seen, but it ain't that many that I really seen. So I'm not talking about her. Um, it, like I said, everybody's welcome to believe whatever you want to believe and see what you want to see. Because something somebody said and they keep saying, oh, she did this to protect her son. Why the fuck? Would a mother that loves her child allow herself to go crazy and be on drugs and fragmented to protect her son because you can't protect your son? He is now open and fair game. And he's been that. Like I told you, she said, you know, a couple of readings ago. Basically, when you sell your soul and you make those agreements, they already, that shit goes into 10 generations and 10 blood, blood lines as a particular chromosome, XX for girl, XY for boy. They already know in this, this system, because it's more boy, boy, love, homosexual, is XY. And they suppress the women and take the divine energy from them, the divine serpent knowledge of the DNA, because they are the true sibyl. 
especially if they have any Mexican blood in them, any African blood in them, any native blood in them, any type of colored blood in them. And if they're coming from a royal bloodline, I'm not saying Europeans don't because there's a lot of bad, very talented Europeans. I'm not saying that. And then there's different groups and subsets, like an Italian. You, you go into Sicily, you deal with North Italian and South Italian. When you deal with the Southern one, you would also be dealing with Hannibal, who is African descent. So you never know where these genes are, but they are also very high beings that snow white, blonde hair, blue eyed, Nordic. So I'm not saying they don't have it, but it's, it's different degrees and different levels of different ETs. And right now out of space, they're having a fight right now. They're having a space in Middle Earth, which is where we live at. And they have a uh, fight underworld, uh, under the ground and under the sea where a lot of those government bases are and the extraterrestrial bases are. And then these other Hitler races and Hitler demonic groups that are fueling the war on earth to dominate it and kill certain races and groups of people. Also, Nipsey said, because I don't know if you remember a year or so ago, I mentioned the Gaza Strip and war in the Gaza Strip and in the mountains of Israel where the watchers are, where those Fallen angels that know all of the knowledge of the tree of good and evil and have been long, here longer than human beings live in Israel. And Nipsey said there's going to be a showdown with the rise of the serpent. Satan, there will be war in the Middle East, so-called Middle East, which is Africa. It's not Middle East, it's Africa. Then with Israel, which is basically a created state for the European Jews. The Ashkenazi. Gaza Strip, Egypt. He said they finna tear that motherfucker up over there because this is a part of biblical prophecy. He said the beast must have war in Africa. What they have coined the Middle East to fight for world domination and must occur in Africa and then an extension of the US and Europe and England, London, Big Ben, where London Bridge is falling down. And these other nations that are ruled by the beast, Satan will descend on his throne in Rome. He sits on the throne in Rome in the Pope, the serpent God. But they also stole the knowledge of the true serpent, Mami Wata, and the original serpent priestesses knows all of the truth and all of the sciences and all of the knowledge, which would be an African descended woman, the Sibyl. Now, I'm going to say this one time and I'm going to leave it alone. People, I, I, I put it in my YouTube community forum about the book on the civils and uh, who the high priestess is, the voodoo priestess that wrote that book. And I think she has a compound in Georgia. Uh, and then people will still want to send me private messages. Was this what you're talking about, the civils? And this was, look, just go read. Just look it up. Mama Soba. There's not a whole bunch of authors. There's one main woman who, who taught about the history of Rome and some black men as well, as well as white men who suppress the knowledge of our ancestors and who we are, those types of women, the Sybils. Because every woman, because she has African descent in her, is not a Sybil. Don't, don't have these abilities, but a lot do. And these spirits are coming back, waking them up. The extraterrestrials, the Sasquatch, all of these beings, mermaids out of the sea, out of, the, out of uh, space, in Middle Earth, in the water, underground, uh, in Antarctica, in Alaska. Uh, and all parts of the world and all dimensions, they are coming down, they are coming up, and they're meeting us in Middle Earth. So people choose not to read that. I put information there, not to look at themselves. It's public on YouTube. The book is public. You know, it's everywhere. Don't don't send me private messages. Is this what you're talking about? Is that what you're talking about? You choose not to listen. You choose not to look in my community forum. I, yeah, I really have nothing to say. I don't have time for babies. I don't have time for people that don't want to read, don't want to research. Because it's what I'm telling you is not something you have to dig and look for. It's right in your fucking face. Now, I have noticed that a lot of the stuff they have erased off of YouTube from when I came out almost 20 years ago. They have erased this. They have white, white. They don't want you to know. They don't want you to study. So you got to dig for it. But a lot of it's on TikTok and all these other places. Uh, I don't watch TikTok as much. Because I know about the software and hacking, glitching and stuff over there. But whenever somebody sends me something, I watch it. I love it. I love the knowledge. And a lot of the young people are reading and resurrecting and sharing it with their peers. So you're going to have to do that. But getting back to what I said, oh, she's protecting her son. You can't protect your son. You fucked up and sick. 
that's not very that's that that sounds so like an idiot to me to even think of say some shit like that because she can't even protect herself she's defenseless at this point the lot of this starts with her serpent mother i don't care what you all say this starts within her own bloodline and the sacrifices within her own bloodline with one of them she told me is the divine nine and uh, Jack and Jill society dealing with the elite, bougie, black elite families. And I think Wendy's mama and them, I think they come from one of them islands up there in New York City. Correct me, am I wrong? One of them islands in Martha Vineyard or something like where it was dominated by the original Native American. And the Africans it was a mixture where they owned that land and it was taken from them. And then the mama looked at like a white woman with a tan with me to me. If you look at Wendy William Mama, but then Wendy would always deny it, like she didn't want to address that shit. Um, the mother was a part of that secret society, and then Wendy was a part of them sororities, them fraternity niggas and shit, and fucking with them. And those are the ones like when I said Jack and Jill, the divine nine. Those are the black witches, the witches of color that are like, they like the boule. And they are heavy into the dark arts and the sciences and all they peoples and media and TV like Gail, Oprah. See, all these peoples are secretly a part of this here thing like that. Her mother is a very powerful figure. The mama's still sitting down here, goddammit. The mama... Get out of her tomb or wherever they put her ass at. The mama's still fucking with Wendy and hanging around Wendy. So, see, this was the course that she was forced into. I don't. I think Wendy went to college. So, Wendy went to college and graduated. She was a part of those secret societies and a part of a goddamn it sorority. Well, well, Wendy had bowed down. I think she was in that high fucking part and snow that goddamn pile of 24-7. See, they had put them spirits on her then. She could not help it because her mama is a supreme witch. That's Then her mama got white folks in the bloodline, probably some off the goddamn Mayflower, got African folks in now, got Native American folks in now. The mama really got a badass motherfucking gene pool that's full of goddamn witchery and power and black magic. The mama can do all kind of shit that people don't know she can do. Levitating shit and part of them groups where they teach you how to do these secret occult sciences and those fraternity and Eastern star groups. That's the blood I keep getting from the mama get going back to the female side with the mama. Might be a couple of uh, male ones, some masons that control religion and spirituality in the mother bloodline. So Wendy was expected to go a certain way and she got a little rebellious. So her mama put her foot on her. Part of the way the mama, I don't care, so y'all don't come over here with that shit. Oh, this daughter called her son and then, uh, uh, uh. Now, I see much deeper than that. And the mother is also a sibyl. And they're heavy into black magic and occult. And they rule the world too. Who give them power to rule Spellman and Mo House and all the other HBCU, the white folks that's above them in power, just like white men that had had black children, mulatto children, they had to pass the paper bag test a lighter, could get into Spellman. There was a woman, a man named Spellman that was white. And they had white damn children with that. They couldn't go to school with the regular goddamn it niggas. Now that, and they became a part of the boule. And that's a separate society to support the whites on top and protect they protect their white dad. And now, see, you can't, you can't, you're not gonna tell me different. And that is what Wendy is saying to me. So she said, I already got it from you. And your babies is gone, your ass is gone. They wrapped up in this whole system. They done plant this shit out for hundreds of years. Probably thousands. Even when item worship or worship put, I could be saying it wrong, where George Washington established the United States in the, in the Illuminati in the New World Order from the very beginning. They, there's an extension of Moorish science and Moorish law that they took from us. And a lot of our black folks sold us out with this shit. To overturn the system uprooted and sell the future generation south. So they say, so they see they got this here. Because there's scientists from all around the world, and they are not just white scientists that have already created the AI form of you, which is a direct mirror reflection 
of who you are and then projected it outside of the body into the third dimension where you can get the little headpiece and you can get your telephone and you can get your computer software game and you see your avatar. And those things will either check you or wreck you because they program them based on your genealogy and your state of mind. Or let's say you already drug and you're on a psych med or you're some other shit on the street. They already know you're predisposed to the shit. So they'll have your avatar doing the shit. God damn it. I mean, I have you watching the motherfucker up there. It's telling you what to fucking do, what to think, what to feel. She was sitting in the car like a Maybach. And... They had this this uh, little radio with a, a earpiece on it, but you can turn it on, take the earpiece off. It was courting her. Literally, they turned the music on like some neuro sync beat, where it sounded like some real nice, soft, etheric music, and it had the coding embedded into the music to my hemi sync, mind train her, and then as it was like. The, the music, I could actually see the waves coming out of the little radio piece. And it was going through the air, going in her head. She said, see, 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 this is what they do to me. This is what they do. And the driver was in there, had the window rolled up so he couldn't hear or see the shit. They had it in there, you know, just for her. This is a part of her training. And when it started going in her brain, going through the front, like the third eye area, going into her glands and started secreting like some serotonin and it was starting to secrete all the hormones and then this like a white lady popped up and then she said this is your avatar she was talking to wendy but it looked like uh it, it, it wasn't a human skin but it was like an outline of a human this was her uh ai teacher and she had like an elder, it was an older white woman that she, she had an elder avatar and she had a younger version of herself and the one now that they keep fucked up in the head with the eye book. So it started saying certain messages to her. Just like you can listen to a tape or you can have your avatar looking like you want it now on all the platforms. You know, Facebook, Instagram, all that. you can put some hair on it like you want it, the color, the length, the texture, the skin, the features, put a little outfit, switch your ass, jack your ass up, push your titties down. You can do all kind of shit already. But see, this thing really talk. It has the synthetic humanoid technology in it where it look like it'll shape should look like her. So hi, hi, Wendy. And it's waving, but the thing look just like her goddamn ass. Hi. So what are we going to be doing today? What would you like to do? You know, this is what I was thinking. I have the whole itinerary. I have the whole day playing. And then the wind is sitting behind her look just like her, the avatar, while the thing done talking, talking and planned it out. It's it's a they she has a team, goddammit. Like the same kind of team and caregiver she got in the physical. They gave this motherfucker a, a team in the goddamn AI verse, universe. With the synthetic technology that matches her brain, if they do this brain mapping thing, and they it's like a just like Elon Musk folded out, but one of them like a snake too, where it's got this. Oh, it kind of hurt too sometimes until they get up there and get integrated. It got a snake in it. They unravel it and it's small. It's coiled up at the base of the spine. If it's not a complete real one, it's a synthetic one. It's kind of mixed with real snake DNA and a little bit of human technology. It's got all these sensors and electric chips on it that are very, very tiny. But I can see them. They're going like lights. And they're really tiny inside of the arteries and the veins of the snake. And it gets up in the base of the brain and it starts uncoiling the same way the Elon Musk brain map, and he have it fold up, stick it up in your brain, and this is real. The FDA has already approved it, and people taking test trials of it get in their brain. And, and they start unfolding. The snake call out. They said this other lady was crazy, and I, used to, I heard her say this one time. Look up Sherry Shriner. They done killed her damn ass. Within this period that Nipsey 
was assassinated. I think she done got killed. Said some some kind of strange shit, but they found her dead. And um, but her tapes and uh, you know, information is still out. And they said she was crazy and had a mental problem. I seen it come up. That's what Wendy showed me. That it's in her. Wendy got some type of chip or something in her. Will control her, and it's like a on a sound wave technology, like a remote control. But she got some type of wire or something or chip in her that's controlled remotely through a computer system, but you can't see it because it is waves through the MIT technology. It's like micro little bitty computers, just like they said was in that, that, that jab that get in there with the graphite metal in it that is uh, magnetic. And it starts to destroy the human cell of people that took it. The Jeff are having a lot of problems. Uh, this thing is working like this. And she said, it's coming to a city near you because they, they already got everybody name and number through the beast computer that's in Europe. And now they got an extension of it here. And to go into this new cashless society and this system and get money or have a place to stay, a lot of people are going to put in these camps. You are going to have to accept the Avatar uh, jail. It's going, it's going to be like that, like a shot. There's a click, few seconds. You won't even feel it. And some people can't walk, can't talk, can't hear, can't see. They're going to think this is like the second coming of Christ because they're going to be able to do things they, they could do before. Injury, a disfigurement, a war, a mind. They mind will work better from being shell shock and shit coming over here because they don't put that technology, the real you, they got an avatar in it. So you will hear a voice that be your voice. You will think you hallucinating. You'll see somebody that look just like you standing in front of you, but you be like reach out to them and your hand will go through them like it's a template, but it looks just like you, like a projection, a holo yes, hologram. But it's, it's, it's not just a hologram. You got a hologram. You got a avatar. You got a clone. Because it, 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 they're said to fuck with you if you get out of line or you talk too goddamn it much. And they're going to have these people not believing shit you say because they fucked up in here. This shit, they shot shooting up in them like she's saying. Or they got them on this shit 24-7 with a drip. Like a, 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 a undercover patch in their body and their stomach and their ass somewhere. Where it's on a time release drip, goddammit. it. But they dripping in your ass, goddamn some psych meds, some Adderall, some Demerol, some kind of shit in you. Some goddamn it fentanyl so they can touch, cut your clock off and put you in one of their hospitals, like a asylum in Gotham City and shit, where you get to talking or you get back to yourself and get to try to warn it, all of a sudden cut your chip off or release that drip on your ass because they through the uh satellite through the street light through your phone through your appliances everywhere outside you're going to be monitored 24 7 your heart rate eye everything scanned on the goddamn computer and they know if you're an unruly fucker like me you know you can't you know you fucking just be outlawed just go off that set shit you know what this fucker get 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 her over here and put that drip and then put a clone out, goddamn it, with that avatar on it. So they don't, you know, we had this because this bitch just gets out there, out of hand and off the chain. Drip that bitch right there. Put that drip on her. Keep her fucked up over here. Don't nobody even know that her. Hi, let's say, hi, huh? Acting like me and shit and it's one of them things, goddamn it. Because see, she, y'all ask me for this bullshit and ask me to talk, and that's why I don't like to talk because I they 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 get a profile on everybody and they know who gonna mo go along with this shit, who gonna kill themselves, who gonna go to jail, who gonna got them go underground and fight and shit. See, they already know who is who. They know more about your ass than you, goddammit, dude. That's why she told me, Ted. She said she already gone. They already got her. And the people up on top, they already got her. They, they living in a bubble. You don't even know it. We don't even know. We're not in their world. They see and, 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 and hear and feel and think things differently. 
And we, we, we taught to do the right thing and have morals and shit. These people are only taught to these singers and entertainers. Y'all worship somebody. They don't give two fucks about you. They don't even think like you do. They're not even on your zone. They got a lot of them chipped and cloned already. They think about themselves. That's all they think about. They self and they love one close by. So if y'all ass get fucked up, they're going to sit down here and watch that shit. And like, oh, that's on them. This finna be goddamn it like the, 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 um, the Hunger Games in this bitch. And they deliberately bringing people over here that don't know you, not affiliated with you, that have already been battle-hardened through drugs and go to military camps that sell drugs and work for the cartel. And they get out of line of their friend, get out of line, they'll see their friend chopped up right in front of them. Or they might have to do it. Or, nigga, you getting your head chopped off. Goddamn. So they, they don't really have the feelings and the morals that you do. They've been in survival mode. People coming from Africa and war-torn countries and El Salvador and shit and MS-13, they don't give a fuck. So they bringing them over there to instigate this shit, to kick this shit off. Over here to create mayhem. That's who your president is, goddamn it. That's where he about selling little girl pussy, little boy pussy, goddamn it, raccoon pussy. All y'all can throw it and throw that ass in a circle, goddamn it. All y'all can get this motherfucker. And the ones that don't survive, get their ass some drugs. We're going to have these children over here in this orphan house where they getting this welfare checking these food stamps while these grown men come over there and busting their puss over and tell them bring it back. Like, man, look, and boy puss it, throw it over. I, uh, and chill. And then we tired of, you know, woe you out or you don't want to play the game or he's sick and what. Slice him up, take him up there to where they got that bologna and that beef and hamburger processing plant and slice this motherfucker up or get it. And then before that, take this and that out of him because, you know, we got a demand for young hearts and particular blood plasma. You know, got to do this ritual and shit. And we got to have, get, get this adrenal chrome and shit up in this bitch, you know, because we got these gods and, and, and these satanic beings, we got to give these motherfucking sacrifices to, to keep this going on, and we got to have him ascend down on here on, on the earth. <sighs> Man, look. I don't know why y'all keep asking me for this here. Uh, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. We're already in the middle of it. We're in the throes of it. A lot of people will make it and a lot of people won't. We're going to go into a great tribulation. And it's all done by design to separate the reap from the tab. Either you're a strong bitch and you're going to ride and you're going to go through whatever have to go and you're going to survive. But a lot of y'all motherfuckers going to get ate up by this shit because you won't listen and you don't want to believe this shit is happening or that can happen to you. Y'all in la-la land around here. And a lot of y'all young motherfuckers and younger don't want to work, don't want to study, don't want to read, don't want to prepare. You want something easy for you. You want something for nothing, God damn it. You want to get almost all, all the people I noticed that had to deliver food or something to me were young. Most of the motherfuckers get lost coming to my house. Why? Because they depend on Google. Well, somebody don't rolled around, took pictures and said, okay, this the map for this area, that's the map. And they, the address, the way they have given it is backwards. And some of them call me and I don't mind them calling me. I was like, look, I'm country. I'm from the South. I don't go by street names. I go by landmarks, goddammit. Now, do you see the goddammit gas station right there? And do you see the fucking Walmart? Well, no, I'm on the other side. I said, they done gave you backwards ass directions. You already on down on the other side of the goddamn street where I ain't even living in. Don't want to listen to me. Don't want to listen to the address. You don't want to think. You don't want to read. You depend on Google. Google is a part of the technology that's going to bring your ass down and got them avatars ready for your stinking ass. And, I, and then the ones that listen, I have to, I said, I don't mind standing on the phone because I'm hungry. I want this or that. So I'll just talk you here. You see this? I have to talk them down here. And they, they, they're usually not older people. It'd be the younger ones I have to do it to because they don't read. And they listen to their fucking phone and Google is God. Google is a gospel. And that, that shit, y'all not going to make it. And a lot of y'all like to zone out on some dick, some pussy, some dope, pop your ass to a song and drink a goddamn it Coca-Cola and a damn Bacardi and shit. See, before you sit up and really take responsibility and see what the fuck going on. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bobby. I'm country. I'm a landmark motherfucker. You know, I sit there and tell you, I know it. Oh, yeah. You know where the KFC at? Okay, it's cross street from Wendy's. Way right down that street in the day. They got them a quick trip. Yeah, yeah. Where they had a big old cocoa right there. And they let you see the, see the building, see the bank in front of it. Make a left, goddamn it. Come on down. Come on down. Yeah, that's me right there, goddamn it. I like to keep them directions in my head. I said, depending on that goddamn telephone. 
Because it'll fuck you up. And that's, that's how these young motherfuckers is. Depending on technology and it's falling. We can have another crash. And what I'm scared of is that one of them planes, they might hijack and take over one of them planes and hack it and crash the motherfucker. Drive it out into the ocean. That's because we're so vulnerable because the U.S. has so many enemies and did so many dirty shit. Letting in and everybody over here and they got sleeper cells over here. Because I keep seeing these chopped up people, these murdered women. They got hid in these houses and hid on these other areas. There's more as this is going to come out and shit. And I, look, oh, uh, God damn it. I'm going to take a break from this shit. I don't know who y'all sci-fi motherfuckers is on these lives. But y'all clearly like this kind of shit that they bringing over here. <laughs> and I'm the, the part I'm getting in Wendy's head. And I'm seeing this because y'all keep asking for it. And every time I, I do these, y'all watch them and you donate. So, you know, I'm in love with y'all because y'all y'all really doing your thing now. Uh -huh. Y'all do y'all. You know, I'm going to do mine. God damn it. I ain't, you know, I'm not going to come in here with no cotton candy bullshit. When y'all get that cash up and make that goddamn big booty wobble, wobble and drop it low and make it clap. God damn it. Left cheek, right cheek. Y'all know I'm going to give you what the fuck you want. You got to give the people what the fuck they want. For y'all making sure, goddammit, I'm taking care of and have what the fuck I need over here, goddammit. So, y'all want it and y'all bring it. Y'all keep bringing it. I'm going to keep on, goddammit, bringing it. I, I just sit here and just transcribe this shit. All I do is just pass the message. And this shit she's saying, God. Like I said, Nipsey's here and he's already said it. She's in there. They got a trap. So she sees and lives what we don't. So she's giving me a bird's eye view, like Tupac says, staring at the world through my room. They're not going to let her out of there. And her mama's tied into this here and secretly soul windy. Soul or soul, goddammit. She had to go back to, to uh, the divine because once you sign up for that, you got to sacrifice a certain amount of your children. Whether you sacrifice them to be a lesbian, a homosexual, whether you take the physical life out of them and you sacrifice the soul of them, or you give them back to the industry. The mother signed that girl up before she was goddamn it born. And when she seen, seen when they little and born like that, and she started having problems out of her, she still wouldn't let her go. She still had to fulfill the oath because it was an oath her bloodline had taken. And there's a lot of white blood in there, powerful white blood in there, along with the powerful spiritual side. So she was already sold and had to follow it, whether she liked it or not. You want to rebel? You want to get drunk? You want to do your powder? You want to do all this stuff? Little bitch, it doesn't matter. Because one way or another... You are already in it and you cannot get out of it. Blood in, blood out. So Wendy was going to be forced in that direction because there was nowhere else she could go. She was born into this shit. That's what a lot of y'all don't want to fucking accept. Whatever your spirit tell you, you go with that. I ain't trying to get you to go against your spirit. I'm just telling you what mine is telling me and what she telling me and what our mama has got that I'm saying up here with the daddy. The daddy is not as dominant, but the daddy was whoever daddy is. I ain't seen him. I don't know his name is. He was more of like a grounding for the mother and a grounding rod for the mother. The mother's more dominant in her life than a father and the mother is more as a ruler. See? When you born like that, it's nothing you can do. You can rebel, but you're going to end up where they have to beat your ass, drug your ass. You're going to go the way that I got them. And see, because that's, the, the spell has already been put in place and you can't be a regular person. She can't hang out with regular people because the cover. I already got your name and they got a list of the ones that Satan done gave them before you was fucking conceiving your mama ass. That's, that's a ritual. They know when it's going to happen. God damn it. I mean, uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say, goddamn it. I'm going to go by what they're telling me, shit. And this is all genetics. This is all sacred science and sacred geometry and quantum math. Hmm. Dealing with Einstein and dealing with our ancestors, this is high science when you are creating a human being and when you do blood rites. Y'all really don't understand what this is. 
This ain't just saying no abracadabra, hocus pocus and shit, even though those are magic words to use to manifest, materialize things. But uh, that abracadabra is your chromosomes. Huh. The serpent, the kundalini. So I hope that you enjoyed this segment right here and that you got some information out of it. What I love about you all is that you're talkative, you're very intelligent, you're very spiritual, you're very open. A lot of you get it because you're spiritual beings. And then I love how when, when it's over, you all have your conversations with each other. You ask your questions, you comment to me, you comment to each other. You click like, you click share, you click subscribe. As I said, I do not care. If you take segments of the show, I don't care if you take the whole show. You want to put pieces on TikTok, just put my name in it so they'll know who it is. And to make people know me. You, you could, I don't care where you share it at. Just put some respect on my name, goddammit, and let them know who it is and where you can find it. It doesn't bother me for you to share any of my videos, share any of my information. I have no problem with it. I think you better share it and you better save it because I don't know how long I'm going to be around here. And, uh, you know, because, you know, I'm still healing and getting myself together and just things I deal with in my own life. I, I, I really don't like talking about these things publicly. But in a way, I, you want to hear it, so I'm going to give it to you. And even though I'm giving it to you, still things I'm not telling you. Because I don't feel safe to tell you. I don't even feel safe saying this here. So y'all save this here in case they erase it. Because over the years, YouTube has erased a lot of my stuff. And try to do anything and everything they can to suppress me. And other people that are supposed to be better than me and more spiritual than me and more smarter than me. Blackball me, tell lies on me. Try to destroy my character and my reputation so that you won't listen to me, Okay. So that's why while I can talk still, while I can share this, y'all are welcome to share. So that you'll always have my voice. Even if I'm not physically around, you will have my voice. And hopefully you can learn from something I said or share it with somebody that else can, can learn. Because I notice when, when I'm dealing with Nipsey and when I'm dealing with Wendy... And some of the other people that are coming here and Kim's father, they go into the science of the things. And it gets very scientific. So I have to be open to that, which I love science anyway. And uh, so I have to look at these things. I have to see it from that side. I got to see it from the street side. I got to see it from the drug side. I got to see it from the money side. All of them go together to create an Illuminati slave. And to create a system. See, that's another part of it. Y'all need to look up Spritz, uh, Spring Meyer. They was a white man. Very until they, he was Alec Jones doing shows that he was on his own 20 years ago. He created the book, The, the, the Undetectable Making Up of the Illuminati Slave. They fucked that man up, said that man robbed a bank, put that man in federal prison because they told him, you keep on talking, we got something for your ad. And we don't give a fuck that you white because you're going against this system, goddammit. He kept talking, fucked him up. I noticed when he got out, he was broke. Looked like he had was stuttering and shit and eyes cut. I don't know what they did to that goddamn man in there. But he said he had to make an agreement when he got out. He couldn't get into all that shit no more. He still got some old books, but you got to look for the shit. You might find some old video on YouTube. They got he ass, goddammit, because they see nothing. You don't shit, even though you white, you don't went too goddammit far. I never breaking the code. Explain this shit. He dealt with an entertainment, bank and finance, the 13 families, how they are all programmed like that and broken and abused and raped and beaten and fragmented like that. Oh, it ain't just you they do it to. They do it to their own people. Why? So they would not have empathy for society when they see them fucking us over. They don't care. Because they have beat and abused and did the same thing to them. But they have no feelings. And they own drugs. And they sick out their head. And they commit incest and murder and kill animals and all kind of shit. And serial killers. And they cover it up. Just like Jeffrey Dahmer. Daddy just like him. And he was military. We don't know what this fucker is. And what the daddy was doing. Probably cross-dressing and busting his ass. And all kind of shit. God damn it. Look. I'm going to take a break. Again. Y'all keep on loving me and supporting me. The ones that can. I know a lot of y'all waiting for your taxes. Some of you can. Or you do what you can. Like I said, if you can, you can still just share. Splice it. Upload it somewhere. Do what you can to help get the message and the word out to help me. But the ones that support me and donate, I love you. I love it. Long as you want it and you give it to me, I'm like Tupac. How do you want it? God damn it. 
As long as you let me know you're here, I'm going to bring it to you. Whatever questions or comments you got, put the questions down there. You want me to address it in another reading coming up? You want me to ask her? You want me to ask Nipsey? You want me to ask the beings? Because there's a lot of angelic beings down here right now, as well as a lot of demonic beings. But see, the thing is, I talk to angels and demons. They don't bother me. They all have knowledge and science to share because the demons are the oldest, which are still angels. All the angels would know. Whether you call them light beings or dark beings. And what y'all don't know is these certain call, certain other than Archangel Michael. A lot of these other so-called good angels protect you. That's why you get your ass beat and you call them and they don't protect you. Because some of them will still make de with deals with so-called demons or compromise you and watch you get fucked up. Happened to me my whole life. You calling them and your ass still get fucked up. Because you really don't know how to call them and you think they just good beings and they not. Them fuckers will sell your ass out. Depending on who is dominating you and who is controlling you and what they done did. See, people can remove your ancestors from you so they can beat your ass. They can remove your guardians, your guides, so you are wide open for them to take your life, baby. And plenty have tried to take mine. If you don't have anybody to protect you or put rituals on you or to call your ancestors in and you don't know how to do it and stuff keeps happening to you and there's never any intervention from these angels you calling, that's why. See, I had to learn that the hard way because I've talked to both sides of them. And I see some of them angels can be dirty than a motherfucker. I'm not talking about the demons. I'm talking about the white light motherfuckers that all that white light shit and light a white candle to stay in the light, Carol Ann, goddammit. If I physically died right now, nobody could talk to me. Don't call and tell me to go to no goddamn light because the light is death, goddammit, bitch. I ain't going to no motherfucking goddamn light. White light of the fuck your damn ass up, goddammit. And them angels. Oh, I just have an angelic altar. And, you know, I call Raphion and Zelion and goddamn Budicon and all that shit. And then he gonna call because it's white light. And I got this gold light over him. And them motherfuckers crazy as hell. And nigga gone, cheering gone. And don't come back. And they still waiting on the white light of the goddammit. Come over there and shit. And that motherfucker listening to you and watching you call them. And then a fucking demon coming now. Getting your husband or somebody you know and bitch cold cock your ass when you can't see it. And the angel sitting there, what? You know what? Watching the child get fucked in the ass and suck dick at self. Like, see, like I said. I don't know if that was there with me. God damn it, when them two grown ass cousins I had were babysitting me trying to god damn it. Run a train on my damn seven, eight year old damn pussy. But I had realized in my mind, goddammit, if it was an angel in this motherfucker, it's me. And I don't give a fuck that I'm smaller than y'all, goddammit, and it's one of me and two of y'all. Y'all ain't finna have my goddamn little pussy. I'm gonna fight y'all motherfuckers right here, and I'm, I'm damn locking my knees together. I'm damn strength drawing up my pussy and my little edge and little pussy ain't know I had. I'm drawing it up and I'm reaching behind me grabbing something, goddammit, because I even that little I ain't called no damn angel or no damn God. I didn't know that but I did it the goddamn time. I realized if, if it was a savior coming in here, goddammit, it's me. Y'all gonna have to roll me up in a carpet and throw me outside somewhere and kill me before I let y'all damn go in my little damn pussy, goddammit. I was my damn angel in that motherfucker. And they did not fuck me. God damn it. Cause and it looked like where I dug my heels in. God damn it. I said, well, if it's a B, god damn it. If it ain't the B, it's up to me. Sometimes you have to come. Because those entities are within you. And you know, oh, I'm calling up in the sky. And Jesus going to sit on the right hand of the Father. He going to come down out the sky, god damn it. With blonde hair and blue eyes, he gonna save me and he gonna stop them from fucking me. He shouldn't even let it start it, god damn it. See, you know what? Okay, good vibe, straight like that, god damn it. My little hands start reaching around for something to pick up. Cause uh, uh uh, pussy clothes and hands wide on. Cause I'm little, I'm gonna fight y'all motherfuckers. Y'all not finna do this here to me, god damn it. I'm God in this motherfucker. Sometimes you got to call them out of you and be that. Huh. I'm sorry to bust your goddamn bubble. Now, if you don't want to hear that kind of talking, take your Christian ass somewhere else. Because that ain't the type of Christianity I support and goddamn believe in. Because all the abuse and shit I took was in the head of my mother who's a pre preacher and all these other preachers in my family and all these damn Bible thumping Jesus motherfuckers in the family that hid that shit and let that goddamn shit go on, goddamn it. No.
and I don't fuck with they ass no more. And then when you fuck with me, you can say, yeah, yeah, I'm going to open that Bible and I'm going to go to the scripture, God damn it. Eye for eye, leg for leg, ass for ass, a stab for a stab, God damn it. I'll talk to y'all later on.